Hey guys, um, I'm going to be making a video here on some cool apps that you can install from Cydia on your iPhone or iPod Touch. I made a video on this a few months ago, but it wasn't very good, and there was a lot of apps that I showed you. And so I am going to be doing this more in depth and doing a better job of presenting it to you. So, first app I'm going to show you is called Winterboard. Now I know you probably all know this, but this video is mainly for people who are new to jailbreaking their iPods or iPhones, and so this will be helpful for you if you're new to City and you know don't know what cool apps to install, and even if you're not new to it, it might have I might have some few uh, gadgets to show you that you didn't know about before. So this is Winterboard, and basically it's an app that lets you select any sort of theme that you choose to download from Cydia. So if you're new to iPhones or iPod Touches, in Cydia there's different themes you can install like battery themes or springboard themes or keyboards. And once you download them, they'll show up in this app here and all you have to do is click them and it selects that and um, it will apply it to your iPhone or iPod. So that's very cool. Um, the next app is called SB Settings. It's not really an app, uh, but it's literally spelt SB Settings in Cydia. The letter S, the letter B, and then Settings. And what it allows you to do is it's this little gadget on the top of the iPod that when you slide across the status bar up here at the very top, oops, why is it not <laughs> There it is. You have Brightness, SSH, Wi-Fi, more, refresh, dock, respring, power. So basically you can adjust the brightness uh, without having to go through all of that settings menu like you normally would. You can toggle SSH on and off, Wi-Fi on and off. Under more you can hide some of the icons that you've installed but you don't want them to show up. Um, you can also uh, s free disk space and see like your battery level I think. Um, you can adjust the dock settings, you can respring it if you're having problems, and you can shut it down with power. So this is a pretty handy little app that uh, is very helpful when needed. And the next app is called Installus. Once again, this is obvious, unless you're new to iPods and iPod Touches, this is by far the most useful app as you can install almost any application from the App Store on your iPod for free without paying for it. Now, I have a video on this, so if you want to learn how to get it, go to my channel and watch my video. Um, I'm just showing you what it is. You come up and you get the screen, and you can search for the app you want. You know, they don't have a few apps, but most of them uh, they have. Let's just type an easy one. Let's uh, just do need for speed because everyone knows that and this is most likely to have tons and tons of links to download it. What? Did I type it wrong? Need for speed. Uh oh. Minor problems here. Whatever. Um, but you just type the app you want and it'll show up on a screen and you tap it and from what from that menu you can install it on your iPod. Um, very cool app. I'm not going to get into it because I have a whole video on install, so go check that out if you're unsure what to do to get that. And the next one I'm going to be showing you is called AppFlow. Now, what this is, it's kind of useless, I guess, but it just allows you to view all of your apps in CoverFlow. And I just installed it, I'll accept. Watch what happens when you rotate it. Look, you have all of your apps in CoverFlow, and you can switch through them and tap one, and it'll go right to that application. So it's kind of a cool app, you know, to uh, toggle through your applications, like CoverFlow with albums. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's called AppFlow. All of these apps are from Cydia, um, so I recommend you go check those out. Um, the next application I will be showing you is called categories and what this allows you to do is if you have too many icons on your home screen or applications that you don't want on there you can just put it into a folder say you have like 40 games on your iPod it's too crowded 
what you do is you install categories from Cydia. Let me let it load up, and it'll come to the screen. And you tap Add in the right corner, and just say you want to add a games folder. You type in Games as the name, and then it brings you to this list of a few hundred icons, and you can choose which icon you want, which looks best to you, for the games folder. And once you do that, you go into the games folder, and you tap Add again in the right corner, and you literally just touch your applications that you want to add to the game folder. And then you close out, and it'll do its respring thing. And once you open it back up, all of those games that you selected will be in a folder called Games on your home screen. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, I just have one folder for apps. I like to keep it short to the point and neat. So all of my apps are in that folder. Very useful application um, if your home screen gets too crowded and whatnot. Let me go back home. I'll show you a couple more here. This next one is called. Let me see if I have MX Tube. I don't think I installed it after I updated it. Nope. So forget about that. Um, the next application is called Font Swap, and this allows you to change your system fonts on your iPod or iPod Touch. The reason this is cool is because. Uh, it ch literally changes everything. As you can see, my font is different from normal iPods. Um, let's go into system fonts. You see all these different fonts. It comes with like 8 to 10. I, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. Um, and every single thing that you look at on your iPod that has words is in the font that you select, which is really cool. I can't believe that it changes every single thing. So I really like that tool. Um, that again can be installed from Cydia. It's called Font Swap. Whoops, why'd I open Winterboard? The next application is called Make It Mine, also from Cydia. What this does is it allows you to customize your status bar up here where it says iPod, and then it has the time, and it has your battery and the Wi-Fi thing. Um, what you can do with this, and you probably won't be able to see it because the writing's really small, but you have a carrier button in the top left and a banner button in the top right. Type anything you want here. Say you want to type bouge, whatever. If you want bouge, where it says iPod usually, if you haven't done this already, it'll say iPod, and then you have the Wi-Fi, and then the time, and then the battery. That's how it normally looks. If you want bouge, where iPod is, as the carrier, you click carrier. If you want bouge as the banner, up here where it usually says the time, click banner. As you can see, or as you probably can't see, mine says Fritzer the Bacon Bitzer, because that's one of my nicknames. So uh, that's a pretty cool app to have, and that literally makes it so that your iPod or iPhone is not like any other one in the world, because you can change it to whatever you want. And the final little gadget I'll show you is uh, from Cydia. It's not really an application. It's just a little thing called Cy Delete, C Y Delete, um, and it allows you to delete Cydia applications, um, just like App Store applications. As you can see, I'll hold this down, and the wiggle feature comes up, and you have that button in the top left that allows you to delete it from your home screen. That's not unusual because most of the time, well not most of the time, all the time if you don't have this installed you have to go into city and manually um, uninstall that. So that's about it with this video. I tried to keep it as short as possible. Just showing you some basic apps that you want to install from Cydia if you're new to the whole jailbreaking thing. Um, please check out my other videos. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank